Imagine living a world away from your family and friends and waking up every morning to check your Facebook just to see if they're okay. Well, that's the case for many of these Bangladeshi students here at the University of Alberta. Just hoping that everyone's okay, everyone I know, people close to my heart, my own parents. Debrasri has lived in Alberta for three years, but this weekend her mind is at home in Bangladesh. A relaxing weekend. Um, then I woke up yesterday morning, went to Facebook, and all my friends back home were sharing these stories. This is Bangladesh's capital today. Again, the streets of Dhaka flooded with people. For days, students have been protesting road safety after two teenagers were run down by a speeding bus. Yes, like Protesters taking road enforcement into their own hands. But road accidents are an issue in Canada as well. But here, there are laws that are followed. In Bangladesh, there are none. That's why students, children, had to come out on the streets and they had to protest. And while they were peacefully protesting, these kids were attacked. And I have to do something. That's why these students decided to organize this peaceful protest in Edmonton. We want justice. We, we want, want justice. justice. We want justice. A much different we scene than justice. in Bangladesh, where protesters faced tear gas from police and were attacked with bats by pro government supporters. Reports calling some moments chaos, and even protesters throwing stones at police. It's, it's very hard for me to keep it straight. Like, my brother was stuck yesterday, and um, I didn't know if he would make it back home safe. And when he did, I, I finally could breathe and sleep. But... but from a world away, these international students are lending their voice to the cause. have no voice. If we do not stand for our friends, our little brothers and sisters, we don't know who will. And as a student community, we feel it is very important for us to voice their voice. According to the World Bank, Bangladesh has some of the highest rates of traffic fatalities. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.